All right, when European settlers arrived in what we now know as Iowa, 80% of the state was covered in tall grass prairie. That habitat is now considered to be some of the most endangered in the world. News 8's photojournalist Linnea Hoover takes us to one of the few remaining tall grass prairies in Iowa and explains how these rolling hills are being recreated for future generations. The prairie is Iowa's heritage. A place where the buffalo roam. We really try to keep them as wild as possible so genetically they are wild animals and not, we're not making them domesticated. The Neil Smith Wildlife Refuge, just 30 minutes east of Des Moines. We get people that visit from international, national, from Iowa. The visitor services manager, Nancy Corona's favorite part of the refuge is the bison. But we have about 57. Here's a species that was really really at the brink of extinction, and I get to work with bringing them back and teaching people about their history and conservation. These bison behind me are a huge draw for visitors and a vital part of the Neil Smith Wildlife Refuge, but the plants and their restoration are what it's really about. The main purpose for this refuge is reconstructing and restoring tall grass prairie, uh, oak savanna, and sedge meadow. Recreating a disappearing landscape near extinction. There's only one-tenth of one percent left and only a small remaining remnant prairies across Iowa. Tall grass prairie and grasslands uh, worldwide are declining and diminishing. The prairie is free, it's family friendly. It has something for everyone to enjoy. There's hiking trails, there's a bike uh, path along the main entry road, there's, um, we got the bison enclosure and elk enclosure, the five mile wildlife drive programs. We have an indoor outdoor lunch area, videos, exhibits, all kinds of fun things. Oh, it's very dark in here. It is, do you want to get down and go through the maze? Making space Yay! for education. Antlers grow out of the head like tree branches. Can you stretch your arms out wide? With programs like Nature Tots. Our goal is to connect people to uh, at every age level, so from older folks to young children to families to individuals, you know, what are your interests? Recreating Iowa's lost habitat and giving Iowans back their prairie heritage. In Prairie City, Iowa, Linnea Hoover, WQAD News 8. And the Neil Smith National Wildlife Refuge is two and a half hours to the west, just outside of Des Moines. Staff says one of the best times to visit the refuge is spring when the wildflowers are blooming. To learn more about their educational events and recreational activities, you can visit our website, wqad.com.